Hello, hello, hello. This is Shawnee Jackson coming to you live from the office of Shamanj TV One. And today we're going to be reading Genesis chapter 11, okay, in its entirety. And it says, And the whole earth was of one language and of one speech. And it came to pass as they journeyed from the east that they found a plain in the land of Shinar, and they dwelt there. And they said one to another, Go to, let us make brick and burn them thoroughly. And they had brick for stone, and slime had they for mortar. And they said, Go to, let us build us a city and a tower whose top may reach unto heaven. And let us make a name. Let us make us a name, lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. And the Lord came down to see the city and the tower, which the children of men builded. And the Lord said, Behold, the people is one. And they have all one language. And this they began to do. And now nothing will be restrained from them, which they have imagined to do. Go to, let us go down. And there confound their language, that they may not understand one another's speech. So the Lord scattered them abroad from thence. Upon the face of all the earth, and they left oft to build the city. Therefore is the name of it called Babel, because the Lord did there confound the language of all the earth. And from thence did the Lord scatter them abroad upon the face of the earth. These are the generations of Shem. Shem was an hundred years old and begat Ephraim two years after the flood. And Shem lived after he begat Ephraim five hundred years and begat sons and daughters. And Ephraim lived five and thirty years and begat Salah. And Ephraim lived after he begat Salah four hundred and three years and begat sons and daughters. And Selah lived 30 years and begat Eber. And Selah lived after he begat Eber 403 years and begat sons and daughters. And Eber lived four and 30 years and begat Peleg. And Eber lived after he begat Peleg 430 years and begat sons and daughters. And Peleg lived 30 years and begat Reu. And Peleg lived after he begat Reu two hundred and nine years and begat sons and daughters. And Reu lived two and thirty years and begat Serug. And Reu lived after he begat Serug two hundred and seven years and begat sons and daughters. And Serug lived thirty years and begat Nahor. And Siru lived after he begat Nahor two hundred years and begat sons and daughters. And Nahor lived nine and twenty years and begat Terah. And Nahor lived after he begat Terah an hundred and nineteen years and begat sons and daughters. And Terah lived seventy years and begat Abram, Nahor, and Haran. Now these are the generations of Terah. Terah begat Abram, Nahor, and Haran, and Haran begat Lot. And Haran died before his father Terah in the land of his nativity in the Ur of the Chaldees. And Abram and Nahor took them wives. The name of Abram's wife was Sarai, 
and the name of Nahor's wife was Milcah, the daughter of Haran, the father of Milcah, and the father of Ishka, Iska. But Sarai was barren, she had no child. And Terah took Abram, his son, and Lot, the son of Haran, his son's son, and Sarai, his daughter in law, his sons, his son Abram's wife, and they went forth with them from Ur of the Chaldees to go into the land of Canaan. And they came unto Haran and dwelt there. And the days of Terah were two hundred and five years. And Terah died in Haran. Okay. So we're. Okay. So we've read. Genesis chapter 11. Verses 1 through 32. May the Lord add a blessing to the readers, hearers, and doers of his word. I want to encourage you all to go to YouTube, okay? And I want you to subscribe to Shamanj TV One. And I also want you to go to Facebook. And I want you to go to the Facebook group. Purposeful Bible Study. Where you will see all of these videos of the Bible You'll be able to get your own copy of the Bible. You'll be able to um, get all kinds of resources from the Bible, for biblical resources and other resources also. Okay? So if you are interested in these resources, please feel free to join the group on Facebook. Just search... Okay, now I'm going to possibly see about putting pulling it up. Hold on, guys. <laughs> All right, so um, see that Shamash TV one. There we go. Okay, Shamash TV one. That is where you're going to go. Okay to subscribe and if you want to join the group you're going to go here and you're going to type in purposeful bible study and this is the group that you're going to join there's all kinds of, of christian things in this group um okay there's there's videos you can get a bible there's resources all kinds of things for you in this group okay so join today all right purposeful bible study thank you all for watching god bless you bye bye now